The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is considering whether a ski resort in Arizona can move ahead with plans to use treated wastewater to make snow on a mountain that is sacred to Native tribes. Residents say they are concerned over possible health effects, and Indigenous leaders call it an affront to their religion. FSRN's Christina Anastad reports. The Arizona Snow Bowl Ski Resort wants to use up to 180 million gallons of treated sewage water each season to make snow on the San Francisco peaks, a mountain sacred to at least 13 Native American tribes in the southwest. Opponents allege the U.S. Forest Service hasn't adequately evaluated whether snow made from wastewater will affect human health. The federal government said that asbestos were fine. They said that DDT was fine. Janita Benali is a plaintiff in the suit to stop Snowball from using reclaimed sewage to make snow. I don't want my children or citizens' children to be test subjects because the Forest Service failed to properly analyze reclaimed sewage effluent. As a precautionary measure, the Snow Bowl and the U.S. Forest Service agreed to display warning signs at the resort, telling the public not to eat the snow. Snow Bowl declined to comment on this story, but in 2006, spokesperson David Smith told FSRN the treated wastewater was safer than rainwater. It may come from showers, it may come from sinks, it may come from, from toilets, it may come from, uh, you know, a lot of different places. It's, it's safer than what comes out of the sky. But plaintiffs in the Save the Peaks coalition disagree. Howard Shanker is the lead attorney representing the group of native and environmental activists. He says the treated wastewater contains a variety of toxins. Pharmaceuticals and personal care products, things that people excrete, like antibiotics in it that doesn't get treated out or tested for. It's got uh, veterinary medicines in it, uh, birth control, caffeine, anything you can think of. It's got triclosan, which is an ingredient in antibacterial products that becomes a dioxin when exposed to UV rays. Treated wastewater is currently used in a variety of applications, including to irrigate farmland and parks across the country. But Shanker says Snowball is the first resort in the world to use 100% reclaimed wastewater to make snow. Native activists and tribes lost an earlier suit, alleging the snowmaking violated Native American religious freedoms by desecrating the San Francisco Peaks, their sacred temple. But for Native Americans like Benali, who bathe in the snow as a ritual, that fact remains unchanged. Um, There's no full immersion allowed, there's no ingestion allowed of reclaimed wastewater, and that will be a problem for us as a matter of cultural survival that um, our people will not be allowed to go up and snow bathe because it will be toxic. A new coalition of Native Americans and environmentalists are fighting the ski resort's plans on environmental grounds against Shanker. And it's really a shame that there's no law in place that protects the site simply because it's, it's sacred or holy to so many people. And it's a shame, again, that we have to be here in court trying to protect this site, trying to protect the people, trying to protect Mother Earth from our own federal government. The U.S. Forest Service declined to comment on pending litigation. The three-judge panel could take several months to issue a ruling. A separate suit filed by the Hopi against the ski resort's plans to use wastewater is pending in court as well. Christina Onestead, Free Speech Radio News.